Hey guys, hey girls, what's up? Stay camping here playing some Banjo Kazooie right where we left off. Um, we're gonna go right through this door. It costs 50 music notes, as you can see there on the door. Talking to this guy here a little bit. Um, I didn't really read what he was saying, but uh, if you want to read it, go ahead and read it. I'm not going too fast. I am holding down. If you want to speed up um, them talking, uh, I believe any button really probably may work, but A, probably B, you know. Um, so we're going to go through it here. It tells you how much music notes you have. It doesn't subtract, but it just tells you how much. The door tells you how much you need, and it tells you also up there on the right hand corner how much you have going to unlock the map again you go to a, um one of these platforms and repeatedly hit a on it um this is the second world that you go to uh um i don't think you can actually skip this one you might be able to um in the later worlds that you can go to um I, I i know the one after this i skipped before when i was playing this uh maybe when i was younger or whatever but um down there in the mouth that's where you go to you just drop down here or you can climb down where or actually there's only one pole to climb down and here you are you're you're right here you just have to jump in uh, I thought there was a mumbo jumbo thing or something I thought there's something back there um, or there used to be or something I'm not sure um, so once again collect a hundred notes and get the ten puzzle pieces jiggies or whatever for the first couple minutes of um, playing this map or any map really you should probably take a look around you know especially if you're new to the game and you don't know um, especially or that, that's how you kind of had to do it um, back in the old days when there was no YouTube there was just books here the camera kind of messes with me a little bit um, but that, that's how it was back in the day you know you go to the store probably where you bought the game and you buy a book but now it's you go up on YouTube and you look for it, you know. So things are a little different nowadays. You can still buy books, just not as much. Um, and I haven't bought a book since, you know, way back in the day. Probably some other, I don't know. Um, but I didn't really catch how much. Uh, I think there's two, maybe also three. Uh, those mole guys around. Kind of weird that he's made a mole hole or a mound, whatever you want to talk about it, or however you want to say, in a, uh, a plank of wood. Um, this spot here, you gotta collect these guys' uh, gold bars. Actually, I would probably have kept them in real life because quite a bit of gold, as you can see, it's uh, five pieces of gold bars all the way across or you know it's big gold bars too why not you know um have trouble swimming in the second one i believe or maybe i haven't got the skill yet but uh in the second one you could go uh first person and and swim around this one i don't think you can or i haven't got the skill yet um so it's kind of difficult and it um it's uh yeah see how i try to swim nah, it doesn't work i hit the wrong button to swim anyways um i can't think of the name never mind um so there's the first mambo jumbos or whatever his name is uh token i don't believe he's actually in this map uh if someone knows where he's at then please tell me um I may leave this world one or two shy of Jiggies. Um, you, I don't think you have to get all the Jiggies in the game, but if you wanted to, you definitely could very easily. Uh, if you wanted just to move on without 
getting all of them, you know, get probably 9 out of 10 and then move on. Um, if you couldn't beat something and you didn't want to deal, some, deal with it, then you absolutely could just move on and later if you wanted to get right back to it. Here again I try to uh, uh, swim to it in uh, first person. Can't do that. And this time I actually tried with all puns, not just the... Or not just nothing. Last time I tried and I didn't do any buttons, I just, you know, try to swim with all the wrong buttons, I guess. So maybe I guess I did try. Uh, so you return to this guy here. Or if you were smart and in the real world, you would keep all that gold. Because that's quite a bit of gold right there. Uh, but you do get a gold jiggy for it. So I guess that would be quite a bit of gold as well. Not as much, but just about the same. So here, uh, there's probably a better way to do this. But you just kind of want to swim and jump and wait for the shark to leave. He'll appear and just appear. And then you wait and then you jump in and you continue and you do the same thing over. I over jumped that. I do that a lot for some reason. Now I think you're made to actually go back or angle to the next box here you can make it um, as easy um, a little difficult getting these or I had a difficult time getting these because you can't just run up normally well you probably could I just didn't attempt it um, so a little tip when you need to get something on a hill and it's a little difficult go to the top and slide you can't move or anything and so it's very hard to fall off when you start sliding uh, let's see what's in here oh two mambo jumbo tokens okay that's nice um timed it not so well mistimed it two of them i believe this this world and the next one you don't actually use the mumbo jumbos you save them uh but i believe after not this one so pretty much two worlds after this um is one of my favorite ones is a swamp and you get to be a little croc which is pretty cool um and uh, might might be the first mini game. Depends if you consider some of these mini games in this one. Um, I know in number two, uh, there's quite a bit of mini games that you play on multiplayer. This one doesn't have multiplayer, sadly. But you know, like I said, it may not have that much. Uh, Mini games. Killing those crabs could be a little pain. Um, you kind of just you could roll into them twice, or you can uh, roll into them once, and if you get lucky, you can jump. And uh, camera is not being nice to me right there. But uh, if you get lucky, you can jump over them and then ground pound them. I don't think you could beak your beak attack. You could definitely, if you were stationary, you can uh, scratch out at him with the same button you would, would roll with uh, his X, I believe. Uh, and there, there's some eggs. Yeah, eggs. Pointless, but gather some of them, I guess. Um, you know, I, li I like to keep around 50, I think I think that's all you can get in this one, I'm not sure, maybe 100. I know in number 2, there's multiple eggs, which I love that feature, because it's, you know, it's just cool to have all the different eggs. And that's why I kind of stopped playing this one for a while when I got it on the arcade. Or, or once, or once, uh... Number two finally came out on the arcade. 
uh, I, I stopped playing this one. And you could get these games on the arcade Xbox arcade. Uh, I think I got them from 20 bucks or 20 Microsoft points. I think back in the day they were still Microsoft points and not dollars. Um, that bucket you actually do have to hit before you start that uh before you go into that little sand castle down there. I, I didn't think you had to, so, uh, or, or th I, I thought at this point I thought I had to do it later for something, but uh, I wasn't sure, so I waited until I actually wanted to go in there. Um, right now I'm trying to get those, um, few music notes that I missed when I ran off the cliff. Uh, watch out for those little oysters or clams or whatever. This little guy here teaches you the spring pad or the shock jump or whatever. I'm, um, I don't know. Um, and number two, uh, this one is rarely needed. Um, so there's that that you can do, and here I show you that you could start the jump and then move up. Uh, which really really works in some spots um, so right there I don't think you can act uh, maybe maybe you can make that as I show in the next few jumps that if you jump or if you continue or um, start going forwards as you start jumping like now you can make it as I show you here I believe right now yeah you yeah, you can make it without... I think you could be on the pad. Um, I don't think you actually have to... That was a fail. Um, you can actually... Jump off of those... In the jump. And then jump back up. Um, you just didn't see a very good... Uh, example of that. So I go this way... I, I don't do anything with this X. Um, I don't think I've actually ever done it. Uh, I didn't read what he said either. When I play games, I don't like to read, and I just skip everything. Uh, so not a very good tip there. But that's why I can go and do... Oh, the X is in there. Um, X is in a different spot. Which... I think this is the second spot where I have to go, but I do remember fighting a big crab other than that, um, what, hermit crab, I believe that's what that might be called, um, now let's see where to go, oh, I see a little shiny thing, I know exactly what it is, so, gotta go that way. Take some more of these pads over here. Don't need those feathers. And now you know what it is. Jump up here. And jump up there. Hit my feet a little bit. How many of you guys, right down in the comments down below, have played Banjo Nuts and Bolts? Or banjo kazooie nuts and bolts um, because people say that is the third one but I believe it's not um, so tell me I, I did look it up once if it was the third one but it doesn't make any sense and it's not any at all the same you know my brother did play a little bit quite a bit and uh, it didn't look any at all the same, like the jiggies aren't worth anything in the game, they're just collectibles. Now this X, I don't know what to do here. Um, I didn't read it. I guess I can go back. I know most times with the X you can... Okay, so that actually had a, um arrow. So actually I should probably go back. Either off camera or whatever, but uh, I don't do it. And I actually miss out on it. 
I thought maybe it would time me. But uh, as you can see, there's no time. Now I'm flying around the map. I see this guy. It's like, um, ah, do I get all these guys? I, mean, hmm. I, I think I do. I think I do get all those, those guys. Huh. I don't know where I'm going right now. I think I decide to fight the crab. Maybe not. Uh, get these guys. Get all these. Yeah. Music notes. I think it's kind of weird that they put music notes in the game. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I do fight the crab. The crab isn't all too hard. This guy's gonna pinch me. Not really. Um, he's not all too hard. Just been a while since I, uh, I I played it and tried to beat him. Eggs don't do anything to him. What you have to do is, um, which I didn't figure out. Eggs didn't do anything. To that point, you have to run up and you actually have to do that big move I just did there. And so I, uh, I thought eggs actually stopped him from doing his claws so you could do it quicker. Second time, you can get him real quick. The third time, I'm not sure how to do it, but he yaks real fast. So, um, it's almost impossible to, to, um, get it right after. Or I don't I don't know it's not impossible to do, but uh, I ended up doing it a few times because I can't figure out how to how to get in there quick enough. And I think what I ended up doing is go real slow up to the to the claws as close as I can get without him pinching me, and then striking right away. And I don't know how I got it. Um, I actually try, I don't know, I don't know how I keep on getting hit, you know, I don't know why I keep shooting him with eggs after he's pinching, because eggs are no match to him, and right here I tried to see if, no, I died, again, I don't know how many attempts I try this, but uh, it gets kind of annoying at this point because I'm just figuring out I'm tired of this guy keep coming up in the video <laughs> and the little uh, thing I guess I guess you could fight him and then uh, go get some health without just doing it and dying and then uh, there is a mambo jumbo token behind him so go ahead and get that whenever don't forget about it. This tower, is that the tower? There's a tower or some rock thing in the uh, water out here somewhere and I don't think it might, I don't think it is in the um, original game. They added it, or, or it might have been, but it might have been for uh, something else. But um, in this version they have eggs and it's for the um that that thing that the console used to have back in the day where you it had like that 10 second um takeout time or whatever that it remembers its last uh game or whatever so you so you're playing it you get it you take it off or you turn it off take the game out put the other game in turn it on and it remembers um, somehow, I, I don't, I don't understand that. If you think about it, that is actually really high tech for the time that the machines were made. And I'm kind of scared of saying the machines because, or the real names because, um, I don't want it, uh, getting taken down in any way or anyone to be offended for some reason. Um. 
so there, I guess I just timed it right. As you saw, I did the same move I, I did over and over. Here I get really, really lucky. And you'll see in a moment that a uh, <laughs> little kind of stupid there. Watch out for that guy. You get pinched by that guy. Run into that guy. Oops. Take this guy out. Try to get that health. Nope. Try to big move. You can't big move over this guy. Run around. At this point, I could just get that. But I was like, nah. Boom. Kill him. I don't know if it's all the time. But it might be when they're on their legs. Is, uh. Is. You get two health if you butt thump them while they're on their legs. It, it, I, I noticed it there. I didn't notice at any time when I try to butt thump one of those crabs. Uh, so. There you go. A little tip if it's true. If it's not, then. Well, well. Sorry. <laughs> There's the mumbo jumbo thing. Uh, and let's see where else I'm going. I I didn't go up there. See this this is why I wish I could do um, live commentary because it would just be done. Okay, I did. I did. Uh, did I go back and get that mumbo jumbo token? I thought I did this, and then I might actually have to go back and get that that token if I don't get it. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> so I didn't think I actually got it. But uh, like I was saying, live commentary would be a lot easier. You know, make the video. Live commentary is already on there. You know, edit out the parts that I don't want up on YouTube it would be ten times easier but oops uh, that's just um, an old friend that doesn't play or actually that that person actually was made his file first and then his dad took it over so and then the kids took it over after that uh, so I get the gold once again just to stop him from crying you don't need to do it if you've already done it he doesn't give you anything for doing it. I thought I thought there might have been some extra thing that you can get, like a cheat page or something, that I won't be getting in this playthrough because unless I run across it on accident, um, I probably won't 100% the game. But I'm just here to play it all the way through, the way it's meant to be played, and collecting as much stuff as possible. But um. Like I said back, or um, never mind. You don't need to know about the live commentary. Oh, actually, no, no. Um, the live commentary. I won't be doing live commentary until I have a spot of my own to record, so I can do privacy and all that stuff. So, um, so pretty much, I'm stuck doing this. And the reason why I will wait until I get my own privacy area set up is or my own my final setup is because of uh, I have to share the TV in, in the living room the main room if I had my own house and there's the last guy I believe if I had my own house the living room would be fine because the doors would be opening dog would be barking you need to go out every 10 minutes uh, stuff like that um, but I don't have my own house and people move in or people walk in and out dog barks or something and i don't know everyone's schedules so i don't know when door knock on the door or someone knocks on the door or something so that's why i am doing it like this and i've been trying to test out to see if i can do live commentary and my computer still doesn't like it like and maybe i just haven't figured it out but I hit that live commentary button on, um, yeah, I thought I did that, okay, um, but I hit that live commentary button on the Elgato, uh, thing in Jig, and, uh, it just doesn't like to, to do much, you know, the way I'm recording, 
is uh, if you guys have the Elgato and if it lags quite a bit by the way this was recorded on the Elgato and like everyone should say um, I'm not being paid at all or anything with the Elgato company so uh, that's that out of the way but um, one note really there's one note I don't know what this whole point I guess maybe so you can fly to it and you don't have to go all the way to the top but if you can fly to the top might as well do it I guess um, shouldn't take too long but uh what was I saying I was saying okay uh, I won't be doing live commentary until that point I get uh, my own my own space um, which or my own set or a better setup really which might be in my room uh, and then there's a spot in the garage that I want to do is above everything which is pretty cool pretty room not pretty room but pretty good room I would just have to soundproof it and stuff because it's a garage and uh, it would be very loud and if me and my friends were playing out there and the neighbors you know loud goes both ways it doesn't just you know go one way you know so when we were playing in the room it's not like no one can hear us right um so let's fly to this chest over here get back to the game stop talking about outside of youtube stuff uh, uh kind of difficult a little jiggy inside there i guess this one is supposed to be more difficult Uh, I don't think it's more difficult. It should have been more difficult. There we go. Got the jiggy. That's number seven. Like I said, there's ten of them in every world, but you also have a chance to get more. Uh, like when I was at top of the lighthouse, there was that uh, witch face that you pounded in through the ground, and that normally would do uh, something to get another one. Um, out, out or in in the hub rather uh, I think right now I'm either trying to find that sand pit or might change my mind and go to that um, that mound that I saw out there I do go to it I find this and I take this right away because I died a bunch of times with that crab that I shouldn't have died all those times I think um, Let's see, where, where do I go? I'm not gonna do that X. I go, I think, I think what I'm looking for is that, um, that sand castle under the water. Um, it's actually over there, right behind those palm trees on the other side. I, I swore it was on this side. But uh, it was actually, it's actually on ground level. Um, I, I, I was just flying over it too and I forgot where I found it. Um, so I fly again, fly around the whole level. And it's the last place I look. And I fly over exactly what I was just walking over just in case if I forgot anything. And... Um, I didn't get that honeycomb. I should I should go back and get that. Maybe I can get like an extra honeycomb on my life. Uh, if I collect, I think that one and two more. Unless you have to collect the middle one, because this is actually uh, kind of I guess you would call it pre-recording. Right over here where my head is facing right now, that's where the. Uh, the thing is where I'm going for sandcastle under the water you guys ever make a good sandcastle I get blown dead up right here at some point um, I never really made sandcastles never really gone to the beach the only time I go to the beach is um, as you can see right here you have to clear the water out which is the with the bucket up on the little ledge but anytime I ever go to the beach 
it's uh, really only to go clam digging. If you guys never have gone clam digging, it's um, only in some beaches, not all of them. So you can't go. Yeah, I get blown up right there. Uh, it's only in some beaches. You can't go to Florida and go clam digging. Uh, not a lot of people know about it. It's a quite. A, it, it's quite fun. I won't lie. I don't know why I try to go down right there. Um, pretty much what you do is you put on say this. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it is chest waders, uh, and it's this neoprene material that is waterproof. Some neoprene is not all waterproof. So just because if you think, oh, you're a surfer and you can, you know, go climb digging because I told you to go, go ahead and get some. Uh, I'm not saying surfers can't go climb digging. I'm just saying certain um, uh, certain neoprene is isn't waterproof, um, but this this stuff is. And you wear this, or, and there's also different types that people wear. It's um, kind of a kind of a rubber boot, I guess, kind of what you would wear in the rain. But um, I I actually so so you wear the neoprene or whatever. Not always have to go with neoprene. I'm figuring out right now how to do this. Um, what you want to do is write what's on the wall, and I figured that out, but I didn't realize that there was, um, multiple of the same letters, you know, so there's like two O's, there, actually I think there's three O's that I just spotted now, but there's two A's, I think, and a couple T's, and, and I, I didn't actually realize that, so I, uh, I end up trying to get myself killed so I could restart and instead I just leave after it doesn't work but um anyways guys uh climb digging fun big deal whatever uh but anyways guys this is state campion and hope you guys have fun with the rest of the day uh please subscribe at the end of this video if you like and you want to see more Banjo Kazooie, subscribe so you can see it and you get updates. And uh, like on the on the video so I know to keep doing it. And uh, anyways, like I said, this is the Campion. Have a nice day, rest of the day, whatever. Okay. And uh, this is the end of the video. Peace. Have a good day.